got any fights planned coming up in the next few months? Uh, I hope so. Uh, I just got off uh, uh, surgery and uh, started the training 100% now uh, and learning to trust my hand again. Uh, but I hope uh, I will uh, fight soon. So can you talk us a bit through the surgery, how it, how it happened and how you hit, what the process is you're healing? When, when are you likely to get back in the cage? Uh, I hope uh, in, in a couple of months uh, I um, hit uh, a guy in the head <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I pulled my ligament and I, a piece of bone came with it. So uh, it was quite painful, but that's uh, just an occupational hazard. And in terms of, is that kind of the biggest injury you've, you've had in your career so far? And, and how is it to, to sort of deal with that as a professional fighter? Uh, you know, it's, it's like anything else. It's uh, things you have to expect. Um, it's, we're, we're fighters, we train on hurting people and sometimes people get hurt. Yep. So that's it. And obviously the, the stadium here is, is huge and you've got some interest with some friends fighting like, at the moment. Um, would the yeah. dream be to to one day come back here and fight in Sweden? Of course, of course. Uh, right now I believe uh, Sweden is jinxed for me, so <laughs> but I, w I will overcome that uh, feeling and uh, you know, uh, fight here uh, for hopefully um, uh, again in, in this arena or, or even bigger it would be you know, a dream. But uh, you know, it's just a dream for me to fight in the UFC, so you know, just keep on fighting wherever they want to. And is there any fighters in your weight class that you've got your eye on on your return? Uh, yeah, everybody that's uh, ranked higher than me. Ev anybody that's in the top 10, top 5. I want to fight somebody that nobody thinks I'm going to beat. Because then I do my best fights.